Where's San Francisco? What can I help you with? Now, the first thing you notice is that uh, there is a voice speaking, and in fact, I also dropped some code to integrate with the real-time API into Wanderlust, and I can click this icon to now turn on the voice assistant, so let's try. Hey, I'm uh, planning my trip to OpenAI Dev Day in London and then in Singapore. Got it. London and Singapore for OpenAI Dev Day. What do you need help with? Um, could you uh, give me some recommendations of places to eat in London? Sure thing. Here are some tasty spots. Dishoom, Sketch, and Duck and Waffle are must-tries. That sounds great. Um, do you think you could also uh, give me some hotel recommendations? I'm thinking about staying in the kind of Strand neighborhood by the river. Absolutely. In the Strand area, the Savoy, ME London and Strand Palace are fantastic choices. Enjoy your stay. Cool. Uh, I was thinking about something more low-key. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> sure. Focusing on London. For budget stays in the Strand, try Z Hotel Strand, Hub by Premier Inn or the Strand Continental. Awesome. So the two things I want to highlight here is that one, on the left side, you could tell we have the complete transcript of the real-time conversation as it's happening, and you can have that right away on your web socket connection. And on the right side of the screen, as you could tell, the real-time API supports functions and tools and APIs, which means that you have the ability to connect to kind of any function, and in this case, for me, it was like annotating the map and placing points, uh, pinpoints on it, and, and so on and so forth. So we think you're gonna love using the real-time API, and if your users, for instance, are driving, learning, cooking, or any kind of uh, context, we think they're gonna be delighted as well. But now let's try something a little harder. So what if we could give some extra capabilities to our voice assistant beyond this interface? So let me uh, refresh this and go back to a different kind of conversation. San Francisco, here we are. How can I assist? Yeah, could we uh, take a look at Fort Mason, please? There we go, Fort Mason. What do you need help with there? Well, I have a few hundred awesome developers here in the room and I'm thinking they might need a little snack. Uh, do you have some chocolate shops around here? Absolutely, check out Garadelli Square, Elan Strawberries, and the candy store. Great, can you show me more details about these three places? Details are up. Garadelli Square offers iconic sundaes, Elan Strawberry Lane has delectable chocolate-covered strawberries, and the candy store is your go-to for vintage sweets. Enjoy. Great, so as you can tell, another example of like pulling details with tools uh, uh, in real time. Now, what's really awesome about the real-time API, supporting functions and tools, is that you can actually call third-party APIs so for example, what if we were to add Twilio's phone calling capabilities onto Wanderlust by using the Twilio API? So I see here the Elon Strawberries location seems to accept AI orders, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to try this live. So I'm going to invite Elon from our developer experience team onto the stage to join me so you can actually see that in action. <laughs> Resume that conversation we started, and we're gonna try that live. Let's go. Hey, Elan Strawberries looks really fantastic. Uh, could you place a call and see if you could get us 400 strawberries delivered to the venue? But please keep that under $1,500. I'm on it. We'll get those strawberries delivered for you. Awesome. Let's go ahead and place the order of 400 chocolate covered strawberries. 
Great, where would you like that delivered? Please deliver them to the Gateway Pavilion at Fort Mason, and I'll be paying in cash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet, so just to confirm, you want 400 chocolate-covered strawberries to the Gateway Pavilion. Um, well, you guys are right nearby, so it'll be like, I don't know, 37 seconds? That's incredibly fast. <laughs> cool, you too. extracted important details of that conversation along the way. So I really can't wait to see what all of you are going to build with this real-time API and I'm sure you're going to reinvent how humans and computers interface with each other with these new like voice capabilities. Thank you so much for your time. I can't wait to spend time with all of you today and with that back to you Olivier. Yeah.